Yo, what's up, you guys? So I have a few gaming handhelds here. And with the new release of the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the 15 series in general, there is something in common with all of these devices. And that is the fact that Apple finally decided to give us the USB-C connector on the iPhone 15 series. Now we can charge all of our devices with a single cable. And if you've been on Android, you know that we've had this for years now. But there's another thing that Apple sort of um, wanted to highlight and that is the gaming potential and power of the new a17 pro chip that is in the 15 pro max so i decided to challenge myself even though i have all of these handhelds because apple decided that they were going to advertise this device as a possible potential gaming device i decided to challenge myself for one week i'm going to put all of my other handhelds aside and only use the iphone 15 pro max for all of my gaming needs so let's get into the challenge so as we get into this challenge this week-long challenge to only use the iphone for all of my gaming needs there is a few caveats a few limitations i want to put on this challenge so i'm not just doing anything and saying that it's replacing my gaming handhelds for one the game needs to have controller support so i have to be able to use the controller to get a full controller gaming experience and two the game needs to be up to you know pc quality either that means it's already available on pc or it's a certain level of quality where it's not just sort of like a mobile game where it's not really high quality so those are the two main aspects that i'm going to be focusing on for this challenge one thing I will say, I've tried all of these um, controller attachments. They all connect over USB-C, so these are made for Android. And the only one that works currently as a recording of this video is the Backbone controller. So that is the one I'm going to be using for this video. I've tried the original uh, Razer Kishi. This is the Razer Kishi uh, V2 Pro. And this is also... Um, another controller from GameSir, and even though they, even though they all have USB-C, the only one that seems to work right now is the game uh, is the um, the Backbone controller. So that's the one I'm going to be using for this test. I heard that the Razer Kishi V2 Pro works with the regular iPhone 15, but for some reason it doesn't work with the 15 Pro. Maybe it needs a software update or something. I don't know. But anyway, that's this is a, that's why I'm going to be using the backbone for this test. Now let's start wasting time and let's get into this week long challenge. Okay, so we have our iPhone 15 Pro Max in the backbone controller. And one thing I like about this controller is that you can get power as well as audio. So you can put your headphones in here and charge it at the same time um, while you are um, you know playing. So that's awesome to see. And it also has this nice launcher so you can actually launch uh, all of your games from it here. And this is sort of like a front end for all of your games. So it does have a nice sort of interface to turn your, you know, your iPhone into a console of sorts. So like I said, for this test, we're only gonna be playing games that are either available on PC already or that have a PC like quality. So let's get into it day one and let's play some games. Okay, so we're starting off with a classic game a game that we all know and love uh, it's available on pc pretty much available on every platform right now and this is dead cells so this is the full um dead cells experience so let's get into it and you know see what we can get into now i will say that dead cells is the quality of game that if you only played dead cells um you technically wouldn't really need a handheld device because this game plays perfectly on a phone even with the touch controls it's still actually pretty good so if you only play a dead cells um the answer is definitely you can replace a handheld with a phone to play dead cells because it's one of those games where it's a very simple game as far as graphics go but it is very enjoyable it is very deep in the um you know combat and customization and it is like a full um you know console or pc quality game so i will say that dead cells is definitely a game that if you just play this then you would have a great time on the iphone you need have that amazing oled screen it is 120 hertz i'm not sure if dead cells is running at 120 hertz but it does feel very smooth and it does feel like um i'm having a great time not really dropping any frames or anything like that and dead cells is definitely a great start to let us know 
um, that were on the right track to have a good time. Now, let's move along. Test the next game. Okay, so the next game we're trying out is Minecraft. And now, Minecraft is one of those games that if you only play Minecraft, then I would tell you right now that you don't even need a handheld because this game runs perfectly on the iPhone um, 15 Pro Max. And it really has been running perfectly for the last few generations. I would probably say the last four or five generations have been able to run Minecraft perfectly. So I will say that if you only play Minecraft, then you definitely don't really need a, uh, a handheld. Now we're able to run this at a smooth 120 FPS. Um, I think chunks are set to 10. You could even take this up higher and you can definitely have an enjoyable experience playing through Minecraft on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Um, you have a nice, um, big AMOLED display. The graphics um, look good and smooth. You can even install graphic packs and graphic mods from the store. So you can actually have a full experience playing Minecraft and having all of your mining fun. Now, I'm not good at Minecraft, so I'm just playing in creative mode right now, but you can play through the entire Minecraft um, story using just your iPhone. So if you only play Minecraft, this test is an obvious um, win. And I will tell you right now that this could replace every handheld for you to be able to play Minecraft. It also has like touch control, so you don't even need the controller, but I think it does um, sort of improve the experience with the controller. So Minecraft is a win. So, so far we're two for two, and it's looking like this challenge is not gonna be very difficult because I haven't start, started to miss any of my handhelds just yet. So let's keep it going and see if we can get through this week without missing any of our handhelds. Let's continue. Okay, so our next game is sort of like what I would call like a Zelda inspired game. It is Ocean Horn 2 and it just released for PC not too long ago. So it does actually qualify for this list. Um, so yeah, it's like the Zelda um, style game. Uh, so yeah, let's check it out. Hey, is that a bomb hut? Keep that burning iron away from me! Just make sure they don't see you. I am a master of sneaking. I'm basically invisible. Seriously. Okay, so we're definitely getting like uh, slight Breath of the Wild vibes. <laughs> and yeah, this is definitely a, I would say this is like a, you know, PC, you know, double A level game. It is very enjoyable. The graphics look good. And so this does pass the test and playing it on the iPhone 15 Pro Max, I have not started to miss my handhelds just yet. This is a, uh, the full game is available on PC. Ninja Turtles Strategy Revenge, and it is definitely a, a great game. So let's get into it. One thing I will say is that it doesn't, you know, fully um, fill the screen, but this game is one of those games that is limited to a um, 16 by nine aspect ratio, regardless of what system you're on. It would be nice to see them sort of extend it to fill the screen, but they haven't done that yet. Yeah, um, so I must say, guys, uh, like I said, this is a full experience. You're going to get the same experience on um, on here that you would on any console or any handheld. So, yeah, I'm not missing my you know handhelds just yet. That may change, but I will say I'm having a good time um, so far, and I haven't really missed any of the handhelds. Now, 
the other handhelds may have slightly better ergonomics but i will say that it actually feels good in the hand just because the way that it um it fits it doesn't um you know feel fatiguing in, in any way it's sort of a certain size and shape that i can hold with this for an extended period um so yeah no complaints so far and this test is going better than i expected um so yeah let's keep going Okay, so our next game is Grid Autosport. It is a, um, a racing game. It also is available on PC. Now, I will say that this is a, a, I believe, a custom version for the phone, but it does still have a great quality. And I will say that um, it is very enjoyable. And playing this, I don't really miss the, um, the handhelds, only because you know you get a full driving experience and it's not really missing anything that would make you sort of want to go back um, to a handout I will say graphics look a little less uh, you know PC quality but um, for a phone especially on this um, bright amulet display it does look good and I will say that it is enjoyable now the controls the controls aren't the best because they are much smaller than your typical handheld as far as travel goes, but they don't, you know, make me feel as though I'm not able to um, put the car where I want it to be. It's just not as much travel as you may be used to, um, but it is fully analog, so analog triggers, um, so you get control over your throttle and braking, and you do have full analog joysticks, so that's good to see. Right, let's keep it moving okay so our next game is Diablo Immortal and it's not in you know Diablo 4 or anything like that but it is still a decent experience so let's check it out okay so in the game here and we're getting the full Diablo experience Okay, you guys, so I could, you know, continue to show you guys um, footage from all of the games that I've been playing on the iPhone, but that will be an extra long video. So let's just talk about, you know, my overall thoughts after my one week of replacing the iPhone or replacing these handhelds with the iPhone. So here are my thoughts after this one week challenge. So I will say that if you, you know, play certain games that are available on the iPhone, I think that you can have an enjoyable experience, not just for a week, but, you know, for the entire time that you are going to, you know, own the device. I do think that it is actually feasible and reasonable to play using a setup like this. Now, I will say it doesn't replace the handhelds as far as the, you know, the game options, the overall um, game selection, the game quality, and so the overall experience in the games and the options that you're able to have on a handheld device. But I will say that after this challenge, after this experience, I will say it is definitely possible to replace a handheld with your uh, iPhone or pretty much any phone for that matter. But I specifically wanted to focus on the iPhone 15 Pro Max because that new A17 Pro chip, they have it, you know, targeted towards gaming. Now we haven't, we don't really have any ray traced gaming right now available, but it is something that is possible on this device. Now, with that being said, I wouldn't tell you to, you know, sell your ROG Ally or sell your Steam Deck and go out there and try to, you know, buy an iPhone because this specific phone actually costs more than both of these put together. <laughs> so it's not really something feasible to do. But if you have, you know, an iPhone 15 Pro Max, 
um, you can get a lot of gaming out of it. If you just, you know, add one of these gaming attachments, specifically the backbone. So I'll leave a link to this one because this is the only one that, that can work right now with the 15 Pro Max. Not sure why. I'll update you if anything happens, maybe in a pinned comment, I'll update you if the other controllers start to work. But right now, only the backbone works with the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So I'll leave a link for this specific one in the um, description. So yeah, after this one week challenge, it definitely is possible to replace your handheld with an iphone uh 15 pro max or any iphone um in the lineup right now had a great experience i can show you more if you want to but this video will be way too long there's a lot of games that i tested a lot of games that i played during my week challenge and i don't think you want to see all of that if you do um leave a comment down below and maybe i'll show some more gameplay some more games that you may not know about on the iphone and i can do a part two to this just you know showcasing some more games that um, play very well on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now, there's a lot of heavy hitters that I didn't show, um, like Genshin Impact, of course, but we all know Genshin Impact, you know, plays on, um, you know, iPhones and iOS devices for years now. Um, I didn't do any streaming. That was on purpose because I wanted to make sure that I was doing um, all of the gaming directly on the device. So no streaming, even though this would be great for streaming because of course you have 5G and you know, every, as you're out and about, you can still stream at a pretty decent quality but i didn't want to do any streaming this is just for um you know local games only so yeah after my challenge i will say you could definitely replace your handheld with an iphone if you're going on a trip or something like that a weekend trip and you can only take one device like you have absolutely no space in your bag for some reason then yeah put your iphone in your pocket put the controller in your other pocket and you're good to go um for your trip i will say there's definitely still a place with these devices that goes without saying of course you're not going to really replace your handheld with an iphone but you can definitely have a great experience using an iPhone or even an Android phone. Um, I also have a Galaxy uh, S22 Ultra that works with this controller as well. So yeah, I think it's just a great time for you know uh, handheld gaming in general and the iPhone 15 Pro Max just proves that and I definitely did enjoy my challenge. Leave a comment down below, like, subscribe, ring the bell, all that good YouTube stuff and let me know what you want to see next. With that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. If you made it, wait, if you made it to this point in the video, comment screenshot because there's a screenshot button on the um, backbone. Comment screenshot um, so I know you made it to this point in the video and you have a chance to win a special prize. So yeah. Anyway, catch you in the next one. Peace.